There is the train part of the flavor of this stadium here in Houston. This is game three of the World Series. White Sox up two games to none. They're ready to play ball. And here is Roy Oswalt, who was electric in the National League Championship Series. Wearing number 44, normally reserved for power hitters, a power pitcher. Jim Hickey, the pitching coach, said last Wednesday he threw about 12. Another yeah. John Garland was fantastic in his lone postseason start. ALCS, game three, went all nine, two runs, four hits. Biggio in the left center field. That ball is down and to the wall. Biggio starts it with a double. Struggled a little down the stretch, was brilliant in the ALCS. There he is the other way. The Astros strike first. Berkman delivers one to nothing Houston. Right now, every hope that the Astros have in this World Series is riding on the right shoulder of Roy Oswald. And Canerco greets him with a shot down the left field line. Canerco will cruise into second base as Berkman digs it out with a double. A lead off double, and let's go down to Chris Myers. Rowan. Up on the count, two and one. Ripped out. out. Two on, two out. Your rebate is jammed. One to nothing, Astros, as game three goes to the bottom of the second. Right side base hit. Everett coming to the plate. Guys throw. Too late. 2 0 Houston. A 1 1. Left side base hit. 3 0 Houston. That's well hit. Left center field. Back is Roland at the wall. It is gone. Home run. 4 0 Houston. times than not the White Sox have benefited from some of those calls and again creedy has been a part of it he's made the most of it here's a shot into deep right back at the wall another home run for Creedy he puts the White Sox on the board and it's four to one here in the fifth no doubt about this home run to right and for Joe he gets his second to this World Series those Walt would like to be the setup man tonight for Brad Lidge a one one into center field, another hit. Uribe will come to the plate. The throw by Tavares is into the ground, and it's a two-run game. Four hits in the inning, two runs, and it's two on with only one out, and Die coming up. They go. Die into center field. That ball is a hit. In to score is Podsednik, and it's a one-run game. Down toward the end of the bat, and Jermaine Dye gives the White Sox their fifth hit of this inning. Pierzynski in the air to center field. That ball is popped. This ball is up against the wall, and the White Sox are going to take the lead. In to score, Aguchi. In to score is Dye, and Chicago is out in front. Five to four here in the fifth. One two. Now Creedy's hit, and the bases are loaded, and the inning continues for Uribe. Bases loaded, two down, one two pitch. Popped into right center field, and Lane is there. The White Sox came into this inning down four runs to Roy Oswald. They come up with five in the fifth, have their first lead of the night, five for Chicago after four and a half. Bagwell pops it up. The same pitch on three and two, and Canerco on the mound has it two down. 
Trying run at second, two out. On the outside corner to end the inning, a 94-mile-an-hour fastball. So he went back to the number one. Bagwell's frustration. The Astros and their fans' frustration as we go to the eighth. Game three. Now a 1-2 pitch to Aguchi. Left side for Ensberg. It's a one-run game. Game three. Astros coming to bat. Bottom of the eighth. The two, three, and four hitters coming up as the White Sox will go to their bullpen. Two down. Hermans and the right-hander alongside him as Lamb takes ball four, and it's two on with two out. Back-to-back -back walks. Two on, two out. One, two pitch is ripped. Fair. It hits the billboard. One run scores. Bruntlett is to third. Lane delivers, and it's a 5-5 game. Got him on the inside corner. Osmus argues again. And the Astros tie it. Lead runners at second and third. A four-pitch walk to Burke, and the potential winning run is on. This one gets away, and Burke heads down to second. Now Biggio could end this game and win it. Burke got a great jump and steals third. Infield is in. And it's first and third, one out. Two walks in the inning, an error in the stolen base. Two out. An off-speed breaking ball and swinging over the top of it was Tavares and it's up to Berkman. And here's Ensberg who has an RBI base hit. Struck him out and the inning is over. Hernandez strikes out Tavares and Ensberg. Five five, bottom of the tenth. Back after this from your local station. The one one, up the middle, back to Vizcaino makes the play, and off we go into the eleventh. Each side will have the top of their order. To the right side, Berkman to the bag. Balls keeps it tied, going to the bottom of the eleventh. The crowd erupts. Is the kid awake? Still sleeping. Broken bat, back to Jenks. We're going to the 12th. The Astros have stranded a dozen. Two strikeouts in the inning, three on the night in two innings of work. And now it's the 13th. 0 2. We go to the bottom of the 13th. 9 1 and 2 coming up for the Astros. To the shortstop, Uribe. Game number three will go to the 14th inning. And it will at least tie for the longest game innings-wise in World Series history. Back in the second. Canair go to third. Ensberg, what a pick. Go to second, out, over to first. Out! Oh. Double play! <laughs> Unbelievable from Ensberg. time that it's taken to play this game you could fly from Baltimore to Iceland <laughs> or watch the longest game in the World Series history Blum hits it into right down the line it is gone Jeff Blum the former Astro goes deep and here in the 14th inning the White Sox take a 6-5 lead Jeff Blum gets his first at bat of this series and only is second of the postseason.
and Blum has made it 6-5 Chicago. Down and in. The former Astro. Traded to Tampa Bay for tomorrow night's starter by Houston, Brandon Backey. And now Rowan takes a ball in the dirt. Astacio's reaction on that 2-0 pitch down and in. Widger walks to force home the second run of the inning. And it's 7-5 White Sox here in the 14th. On 0-2. Podsednik strikes out. And that sends game three into the bottom of the 14th inning. Now a 3-2. Osmus grounds to short. Uribe bobbles it, and the game will continue. Tying runs are on with Everett coming up. Error on Uribe, his second of this postseason. Here comes Ozzie Guillen. And Burley is going to come out of the pen and try and save it for the White Sox and Marte. An error extends the game. The tying runs are on for Houston here in the 14th. We'll give the Astros a break and a chance to do something about a 7-5 game in the bottom of the 14th as Mark Burley makes his first relief appearance since his rookie year and deals with Adam Everett. The 1-1 one -one pitch. Everett pops it up. On the infield for Uribe. The White Sox are up three games to nothing. A 14-inning game and 7-5 Chicago. And the Astros will end the night with 15 runners left on base.